So I recently dipped my toes in the world of Linux when I installed Linux Mint on this old laptop that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I only got this laptop for $20. Overall, I would say it's pretty easy to set up. I'm beginning to see why there is a passionate community behind Linux, and I could definitely understand why people want an easier alternative to Windows. So I wanted to try another distribution of Linux. So I thought I'd try Pop! OS on this old Dell Optiplex that I have lying around. And from what I've read, Pop! is very beginner friendly, uh, very similar to Mint. So the specs on this Optiplex is much better than the laptop I installed Linux Mint on. This has an i7-3770 processor, eight gigs of RAM, uh, a 500 gig SSD, and a GT1030. So to get started, I need to head over to the Pop! OS website and download the ISO. So I'm gonna flash the ISO to a USB drive and then use that USB drive to install Pop! OS on the Dell Optiplex. So all I'm gonna do here is hit download and then here where it says download Pop! OS, you have a few different options. You can actually install it on a Raspberry Pi 4 if you want but I'm gonna use the one that uses the NVIDIA graphics. Keep in mind, you will also need at least four gigs of RAM. Okay, so now we're gonna click download and just let it do its thing. And now that that is downloaded, we want to flash the ISO to a USB thumb drive. I went ahead and put one already in my main PC. And as you can see, I've selected the Pop! OS ISO there, and uh, I have it set for the uh, USB flash drive. And now we're just gonna click flash. And this might take a few minutes, I'm just gonna speed this up. Now you'll see this message that says flash is complete. So now I'm gonna remove the USB thumb drive from my PC and insert it into the Optiplex. So I now have the USB flash drive in my Optiplex and since the SSD has nothing on it, it booted right from the USB drive and automatically started uh, the setup process. However, you might have to go into the boot menu when turning on your PC so it boots from your USB flash drive. And keep in mind, I am, again, not a Linux expert. And at this point in the installation, as you can see, the screen went black. It went black for about a minute, so I was worried, you know, I wasn't sure if the installation was working. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward a little bit here. And then finally, I got the Pop! OS desktop uh, on my screen. And at one point, at this point right here, it said the OS was not responding. Um, I just waited and it stopped and it looked like it was good to go and the setup process started. At this point I could choose my language and my uh, country. Now here you can see it's giving me an option to either on the bottom left demo, demo mode so I can demo Pop! OS without installing it on my SSD but I want to go ahead and install it. I'm going to pick clean install. I only have my one hard drive here, so I'm gonna erase it and install it. And then it's gonna ask me for a name. And then it's asking me here for an account password. And here it's asking if I want to encrypt the drive and I just hit encrypt. And now at this point, it's gonna partition the drive and configure it. And so I'll just fast forward through this part.
All right, now that that is done, to continue, I have to restart uh, the PC. So I'm just going to click restart the device right here. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I have to put in my password here to unlock the disk uh, encryption, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And okay, I guess here I have to enter my password again. Okay, in this part of the installation, then, you know, my monitor went black. Uh, I didn't know if there was a problem or if the installation failed. So um, I just let it sit for a while. This lasted for about uh, a minute and 20 seconds, but I'm just going to fast forward through this part. Okay, and then eventually I got this screen, which is just telling me that the uh, desktop or screen is locked here. So I have to put in my password again at this point to unlock the screen. So I don't know if I missed a step, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, put in my password again. Okay, so after that, it looks like I was good to go. I just had to follow a few prompts here on the screen to get myself started. Okay, now that it looks like I'm finally all set up, I'm going to just take Pop! OS for a spin. And, uh, you know, I'm going to just try to browse the web. Here are all my applications. Obviously not too many right now. Uh, there's, you know, you could set up different workspaces. Now let's try opening up Firefox. And no issues really browsing the web. Let's try to open up a website. Let's go to uh, Mets.com. And yeah, works really well. Okay, now let's open up uh, YouTube. I'll uh, go to my favorite YouTube channel. Okay, I noticed right away I am not getting any audio, so I have to probably mess around with the settings. So let me go find that. All right, so the settings right here on the bottom right. Uh, let's see. Sound and output. There we go. That should fix that. recently got from eBay. Uh, okay, okay, there we go. Perfect. Out some emulation on this piece. Yeah, so YouTube playback works really well. Now let's try to create a document. And there you go. Really nice and easy. Very user friendly. And just like Linux Mint, uh, Pop! OS has their own little app store here. So I'm going to go ahead and download a few applications. I'm going to download RetroArch here. And I see they have Steam, so I'll go ahead and install that as well. And now let's see if they have the PPSSPP emulator, and they do. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Now I like to use the VLC uh, media player on Windows, but it uh, looks like they don't have that. So uh, I guess I'll have to find an alternative. 
Another thing I really liked is it automatically detected my NAS, which was a WD MyCloud. And it was able to easily play back the movie that was on there. Then what I did was I launched Steam and uh, tried to play a game. Here's Left 4 Dead 2. But as you can see, I'm getting this message saying processing the Vulcan shaders. And it did take quite a while for this to process, probably about 20 minutes, which is definitely um, annoying. I don't know if this is going to happen every time I try to launch this game. But I got to say, this game ran really well. I know every game is different, but no issues with this game whatsoever. Okay, now let's try some emulation with PPSSPP. I am not Time to perish! Bring out! How pitiful! How pitiful! Gotta say, overall, I really like Pop! OS here. I might like it better than Mint, but everyone's going to have their own opinions on that. Really like that Steam worked, but did not like the loading of the shaders. Uh, but this is great for everyday office work, web browsing, YouTube watching, and good for emulation and some gaming. If you use Pop! OS, let me know in the comments below, and let me know which version of Linux you think I should try next. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.